Hi guys, just going to talk you through the final presentation of Group 11's game, Gertrude's Epic Adventure of Epicness. Just to start, I'm going to talk to you about the final stages of production, namely the testing of the game, and the subsequent changes that we made in order for it to work properly. Okay, so to start with, we went through sort of three main stages of testing. Um, initially, we made a testing table to check that each main component worked. And we had each member of the group test the game, fill in the table, and then fix errors that way. And then we took that further refined copy and had it tested on some other, like on some users, and had their feedback. So this is just an example of the testing table. So as you can see, the main issues we had were with Gertrude himself, as well as collision of objects. Now there's all this doesn't include some of the sprite issues which we had, um, which we corrected before this. Um, but basically, the sprites for the robots were meant to change. Um, implementing this with the coding turned out to like, it, it completely wrecked, wrecked the code. So we um, replaced the sprites with symmetrical sprites, so that you wouldn't have to code that that change. But um, yeah. As, Pretty much summarizes the main changes that were made. So yeah, uh, there's also slight changes made to the sprite sizes, uh, mainly for the environment sprites such as the walls and the lava, um, which initially were slightly off size. So just had to had to resize those quickly, which was a five minute job really, but just thought I'd mention that there. Next, we went on to user feedback from children between the ages of 5 and 12, which was sort of our main target area, maybe a bit older. Um, so the, the main issues with it we got from them were that um, there was no proper tutorial, so they were left without any real way of knowing how to play the game. So we, we fixed that by putting it onto the background, which you'll see momentarily. Um, fr from the original game, we have sort of three main features that have stayed consistent throughout. A lot of the other things have changed quite dramatically. Um, the first two, the magnetic claw and the puzzle format, sort of intertwine um, as you use magnetic claw to get around the puzzles. Um, in this level, you don't really see too much of the puzzles, but you, you can understand the element that's there. Um, with, with the magnetic claw, initially we were going to have a claw sprite that shot out as well, but um, coding that to leave leave the sprite, come back to it, and pull you along um, turned out to be a lot more complicated than we first anticipated. So we decided to just have it as the uh, as a line, which you'll see later as well, um, mainly for the sake of efficiency. The original design as well hasn't didn't really change too much. Um, hence why we've kept this little guy up in the top left corner, um, as that was, the, that was the basic idea from the start. Uh, obviously, it, it, in game it's top down, so you wouldn't see him anyway. But the concept of him didn't really change much from that original copy there. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the gameplay part of the video. Just to demonstrate how to actually play Gertrude's Epic Adventure of Epicness. When you jump in, as you can see, the basic instructions are quite clearly written. Throw the SD to move, point and left click to grapple in that direction. So as long as you're hitting a wall, you can grapple towards it. As you can see, the artwork, well, as you can see, uh, the artwork is meant to resemble a sort of wasteland, plains, type environment with um, the colours slightly off to re resemble that alien aspect of the game. Um, so just basics cover, just continue with that. So as, as you go through, as the player goes through the level, they introduce the basic controls and the basic like aspects of gameplay. So here we meet the first enemy, so security bot, you hit the security bot, field of vision, and you lose life and you get set back to the start. So just continue through. Go again. So you get through. 
Now here you've got to be quite careful how you remove the blocks, otherwise you end up trapping yourself and you can't get through. Continue on. As I said, these static security bot fields, you step in them, you set them to start. And we have control bots, which have the same effect as standing in the sentry bots field division, but the only main difference being they don't have a field division and they're moving quite quickly here. So dodge through them. You want here they're moving slightly slower, as you'll see there's a reason why you'll see in a minute. So crash debris, sort of fitting with the theme of being crashed on a planet. So time this right, get across the lava without yeah, there we go. And congratulations, you finished the level, you found the part. So that's just a quick run through of the game. And yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there so doesn't ruin any more of the game for you and hope you enjoyed watching and hope you look forward to playing it. Okay. Thank you.